rational, irrational and real numbers. In this video, you're going to learn to tell rational from irrational numbers and what a real number is. Then you'll be ready to ace questions on this topic. Here's the formal math definition. I'm going to interpret it for you so it's easy to understand. A rational number is any number that can be shown as a fraction where the numerator and denominator are whole numbers either positive or negative and the denominator cannot be zero. Now, I'm a very visual person and that sort of helps me, but I think we all find it easier when I bring in a number line and say that a rational number can be located precisely on it. We've all used number lines before. As you know, a number line has positive numbers, negative numbers and zero. We call these integers. Integers are rational numbers. They occupy a precise location on the number line. And we can put fractions on the number line as well. Negative fractions, positive fractions, all located on the number line. And a mixed number can be shown as an improper fraction, so it fits the definition too. And decimals can be put on a number line as well. OK, what about this then? 0 0.3 recurring. You might say, well, the 3 goes on forever. It can't occupy a precise place on the number line. But then you might say, hang on, I know that 0 0.3 recurring is the same as 1 third. Aha, that means it's a rational number too. In fact, if you have a decimal number with a recurring digit, it's also a rational number. And some fractions, for example, 27 over 99, when you put that into the calculator and get a decimal from it, you're going to get a repeating pattern or period. If you have a decimal number with a repeating period, that is also a rational number. It does seem like pretty much everything is rational. So what's an irrational number then? First of all, I want you to know that they are, in fact, easy to spot. An irrational number is a decimal value where there are no repeating digits or period of digits. I'm going to show you one now on the calculator. We put in 2 and hit square root. And look at that decimal. There's no pattern here, so this is an irrational number. Get a calculator and try to find some more irrational numbers by using square root. And here's a hint. If you plug in any number that is not a perfect square number and you hit that square root key, you'll find another irrational number. And here's one you've got to know. The most famous irrational number is pi. I guarantee you'll be expected to pick that one out as an irrational number and say why. Pi has an infinite string of decimals with no pattern. In school, we show pi to two decimal places as 3.14, but that is only the beginning. Mathematicians have been working on finding digits of pi for years. And get this, in 2020, after eight months of intensive computer calculations, a new Guinness World Record for pi was set, calculating it to 50 trillion places. Remember, here's how to spot an irrational number. It has a long string of decimals with no recurring digit and no repeating periods. Rational numbers are everything else you're likely to get in school. Oh yeah, and both rational and irrational numbers are also real numbers. Nice. There is a class of numbers called imaginary numbers, but that's not for this video. Now you've got it. You're ready to identify rational and irrational numbers and say why you're classifying them that way. So go and amaze your teacher with your awesome math muscle. See you next time on Let's Do Math.